Hey guys, today we're going to talk about paragliding, first aid, and survival kits. My goal of this video is to keep it brief and just give you an example of a paragliding first aid kit and survival kit. Right now is a good time to look over your gear and to get ready for the upcoming season. I'm going to assume that you already know the benefits of a first aid and survival kit and their importance. So I'm just going to jump right into it and show you what I got and what I use. My kit lives in the ballast pocket of my Delight 2 harness. Um, it's right underneath the seat. It's a good place because I always have it on me and I never forget it. And yet it's still accessible. It's, it comes in two parts. First is a SAM splint, which is basically just an aluminum sheet with foam covering over it that you can use to brace arms and fractures, whatever you need. The main kit is based off this Adventure Medicals 0.9 kit. I like this because it's really lightweight and yet it has the necessities already in it when you buy the kit. I purchased the first aid kit for about 20 bucks off Amazon. The price fluctuates a little bit, but instead of going through the nitty gritty of all the contents, I'm gonna list right here what it comes with when you buy the kit. What I like about the kit is that all the contents are inside two dry bags, two Ziploc type bags, and they come with this nice uh, nylon bag that's pretty water resistant and yet carries everything in a nice, neat little package. Everything as I have it, with all the modifications, this thing comes in at just about a pound. The SAM splint weighs four ounces. So a pound of four ounces, I have my survival and first aid kit. So let's open up and get into it. First thing that I have squeezed in here is a water filtration system. I use the Squ uh, Sawyer Mini for that. But here's the two bags that I was talking about. Uh, one is mostly first aid stuff and the other is survival type stuff that I've added. I'm not going to go through all the contents because I already listed it, but one thing to mention is for paragliding medical emergencies, the medication is kind of weak. You might consider adding your own medication depending on your own needs and desires. But these dry bags are nice. They keep the moisture out and keep everything in a nice tight little package. The survival kits items in here are listed in this list. This, in addition to the first aid kit, adds additional benefit with ways to start fires, signaling uh, to purify water, both through the Sawyer Mini and the water filtration tablets. I don't prefer the tablets because it has a funny taste. That's why I have the Sawyer Mini, and also I could use this kit in a backpacking situation, and I don't have to change anything. Um, but. Yeah, it has everything I need to get me through the night if I had to spend the night out after landing or if I get into an emergency. I feel reassured that if me or one of my buddies goes down and needs help, that I at least have a fighting chance and I have something to help the situation out with. No, it does not cover every emergency, especially the bigger ones, but it has enough to provide immediate first aid. And that was the point of this. So I hope this helps. I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can put in your kit. I highly recommend that you and your buddies carry them. Because you never know when you're going to need it. Or if you'll need it. So good luck out there. Fly high.